So I'm gonna give us some insight on some fresh idiotic drama. Why? Because it involves my nemesis who's never heard of me, Trash of Potatoes. But first there's one thing I want to say, my analytics actually show that most of my viewers are not subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get notified every time I post a new video. It's free, it costs you nothing, and it helps support me make more content for you. But anyway, let's get on with this. You know, sea of the land, sea of the land, and uh, it brings you good luck and good fortune to eat it. Liars. Just do it. You're getting... What happens when... <laughs> Classic Dixie. Do we have any dino nuggets? I threw up. That was not good. It was a very dramatic scene. No. Yeah. Christian almost puked. You have a child. What do you, like, <laughs> think is gonna so happen? So I see you up here. Mm. Ugh, I wish, it, I wish I had, like, more time. Because imagine if I hit a hundred mil. So the D'Amelio sisters on TikTok and whatever, went full-on overdramatic on a personal chef recently, and, you know, they were vomiting over chicken nuggets and asking for dinosaur-shaped ones and the whole nine, you know, over-entitled drama. But they received incredible backlash, and I mean, it's not entirely unwarranted. I mean, the hell is that? However, Trasha decides to um, light a fire here and gaslight some extreme hate by inserting herself into this mess, and it's absolutely pitiful. Watch this shit. A year after hitting a mill. Was the 95 not enough for you? <laughs> well, I was just like saying like even number. Well, right. Okay, so I just did a reaction to this video of the D'Amelios and James Charles having dinner with a chef. And I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying like just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticism of the girls. There's a chef making the food. They're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food. And they're 19. They're young, but... I mean, it still amazes me that Trisha makes the face she does. It's like she took a look at her own OnlyFans page or something. Why even comment on this this way? I mean, could it be she's jealous? Probably, because if she feels like she's not as popular or she's losing control in a social scenario, uh, she does things like this to gain control and put herself in the spotlight like the narcissistic, abusive creature that she is. I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get really famous, a lot of followers really quickly. They think they're entitled to 100 million. They complain that they only have 95 million followers. They complain that they have a personal chef and it's just unbecoming. And I don't think it's something to be embarrassed about because they are young girls, but to be catty and bratty in the comments when people are just like, hey, we're kind of like, this isn't cool behavior. It's just trying to help them learn and ultimately not get canceled because this kind of attitude, it won't get you far, period. Let me know what you think in the comments. Really? You're a good role model, you pompous oompa loompa predatory fucking abusive psycho fuck. This is me how she puts herself on such a high horse. I mean, I wasn't aware that, you know, incest, racism, and domestic abuse, and exploiting mental illness in the LGBTQ community was a great way of passing wisdom and being such a good role model for people. I never to take such a role as a teacher. No, what she actually did was gaslight more hate. So, huge trigger warning. These are really, really messed up messages, but I'm just gonna tell you guys this because you have to realize the reason that I don't wanna speak out is because I know I'm gonna get stuff like people telling me to hurt myself or people telling me like, you cannot like me but not attack the way I look or the fact that you don't want me here. Like that's where I kind of draw the line and honestly like seeing, sorry, seeing how people reacted to this, like I don't even know if I wanna do this anymore. Like this is messed up stuff that people are saying. Like people telling me to hang myself, people just like blatantly disrespecting the fact that I'm still a human being is not okay at all. So this girl and her sister are not only receiving threats of bodily harm, but suicide encouragement messages not, e not even the day after Trisha decides to poke her beak where it doesn't belong as usual. Dixie Emilio actually showed some messages from this and I mean, yeah, I, I get that it's you know, entitled and rude and messed up, but if you're going to threaten life and death scenarios over chicken nuggets, then don't have kids because toddlers will literally snub their nose to ice cream and say it's disgusting and just let it drop off their tongue onto the floor in front of you. That's, that's how it works. That's how children work. 
Oh, and before you think Trisha didn't start this, no, not really, but she did help incite this hate to get so violent because she can't stand not being in the spotlight and saw an opportunity. But uh, remember, this is the same woman that catfished an autistic man and then shortly after labeled him a stalker whom she's never met, despite there being proof she did. She also incited harassment on him too, and he's had threats and uh, words of encouragement towards suicide. Scared of this person. And since cops can do very little about online internet stalking, my family and my friends know. And I know there are people online who know because this has been going on for years, for I don't know how many years. I watched a video he made, he said five and a half years that we were friends. Daniel Carroll and all the other winners, like, I want to thank with the guys. I have not responded to this guy in years. thing is, I'm really fucking hurt by it. I fucking stood by her time and time again. Getting people who basically calling me all sorts of things for daring that I should even think about breathing the sa same air she does. Let alone wanting to speak with her. I've had people wish my death. I've had people threaten me. I had people wish death on my mom so she wouldn't have to live with a freak like me with the shame of a, having a freak like me. Once again, she's scapegoating somebody to put her views back up like the vulture she is. And you know, but this time she's taking on a new role as this high horse riding teacher full of wisdom, you know, despite inciting terrible things and doing terrible things. I mean, she's hypocritical as can be and it's pathetic. She saw an opportunity to strike and it's actually working. And this time too, she's trying to make herself look like she's like once again a victim but a teacher. And her cult like following will of course support her no matter what she does. Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what to do. He's blocked me. The problem is is when they enter illegally or drug trafficking, which is the wall. The wall, I suppose, is is not to be like, we don't want immigrants, it's to control who does come into our country because. Uh, I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get being held accountable for your actions online, for behavior that I think is not acceptable. That's because the only narcissist you should listen to is Trisha. And of course she got called out and she's glad for it. I mean, she's thrilled that this person's being threatened because the spotlight's going to her and she likes that kind of shit. Isn't rude. You said, Trisha Paytas, you've been rude to me multiple times. We've never met. There are people being way harsher on you, saying you deserve to get canceled, you deserve to lose followers. I don't think so. I, of all people, have grown from people telling me, hey, this isn't cool behavior. Change. That's how we grow. In all sincerity, I hope you do grow. I mean, how the fuck have you grown? You're like 40 and still advocate the worst behavior in a person possible. And you teach that to your viewers who are probably children mostly. You obviously have an it factor that people like, but this isn't it. And I'm very thankful you called me out specifically so you can hopefully hear what I have to say and not listen to other narcissists in your life, grown adults who shouldn't be hanging out with you as a minor. This time she's trying to play the bigger person and it's like, bitch, you're a little living embodiment of drama in the flesh. You're a terrible person and you always will be. As for the minor comment, you dated a pedo. You don't care about children. You're disgusting. Worried about you. I'm, I'm commentating on poor behavior because that's the only way you're going to be able to grow and change and it looks like you have remorse it looks like you're upset and crying and I am completely sorry if people are telling you to kill yourself that's so wrong on so many levels let me comment on your behavior I hope she sees this one day I really do of course just inserted the name of James Charles in there once again because she's trying to entice him into a conflict because that's even more views and more attention for her I mean, don't watch her. Don't feed this monster. This is this is the exact like definition of psychological abuse and manipulation that an abuser like her does. And this is this is bad. 
she's like looking at her she's like thrilled that this person's being threatened she's happy this is going on because she can try to assert herself as something greater than what she is something of a teacher because she feels older it's like yeah you're old we know you're old and plasticky and gross i mean you've always been plasticky and gross but age ain't doing you better either and shit you're not even 40. but i think that's it i think i covered this enough i might make more as time goes on but again please hit subscribe hit the bell icon get notified whenever i post a new video I'm Moth and I'm out of here.